a, a very vivid recollection of when Yaris came into the world. I was working for another company, so a, a Toyota was not the reference point at all, and Yaris was shown at the motor shop. It looks like Toyota just skipped two generations or something, and suddenly became relevant in this segment. It's been a great story, and it's not over yet. I thought you only existed on Skype. Yes, me too. It's the first time we see each other for I know, three months at least. Yeah, it must yeah. be three months. Yeah. So, you know, this uh, COVID uh, has changed our life. So Tell we me. need to adapt. I know. So uh, that's why we, we still want to talk about the new Yaris. It's a very important car for us. Yeah. So, and uh, we want to do something special that everyone can see, not yeah. being together. Yeah. So we decided to do this kind of uh, video. And then uh, we would like you now to, to make a bit the introduction on the background of the car, <laughs> and also to explain uh, why this car is so important for Toyota in Europe. Well, yeah, let's do so it. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> There's always something extremely special for me about uh, Yaris. My attachment to it goes back before I actually joined the company. But here we have a car that was designed in Europe, you know, really targeted at European consumers and was actually going to be built you know, in a new factory in north of France in Europe as well. So it was a complete reset of Toyota's ambition and a turning point for the brand in Europe. And it's been incredibly exciting you know, over the last 20 years to have played a part in realizing that ambition. It's been a very successful journey uh, from one and a half percent segment share with Starlet um, to winning European Car of the Year with the first generation in 2000, seeing our share climb towards 5%, beyond 5% with the second generation car. And, uh, you know, who'd have thought with this generation three that in its final year, we would be struggling to keep up. You know, demand is way ahead of supply. And we're talking about a segment share that if we could have kept up with supply, probably would have been 8% or higher. We don't believe that's gonna come to an end now. We think with the new generation product, the journey's not finished. Um, you know, the next generation Yaris gives us a significantly more opportunity. I mean, Yaris customers are already the, the most loyal that we have, but with the new design, and with a new platform in terms of its improved dynamic capability of the car and a next generation hybrid system as well. The combination of this clearly gives us, I think by far the most uh, conquest power that we've had for a couple of generations. We've strengthened our appeal to maybe a younger, different group of customers that uh, we've never previously appealed to with Yaris. I think that covers beautifully the story. Yeah. Yeah. What didn't we say? <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. It's closer to the first generation in terms yeah. of the package ingenuity, you know, that yeah. big, small, you know, looking very compact from exterior, but the very, then very roomy inside. And this one's gone back to be a bit more unique and have its, its own identity and it's uh, based on its own sort of Yaris uh, DNA. I mean, this looks, um, this looks quite premium and prestige. Gives it that dynamic feeling in terms yeah. of athletic whereas this is flared higher up. So it gives it that, as you say, that and poise and that And it, give, it really gives you the impression that this is a thing that's gonna to stick to the road. All the lines are here are all sort of purposeful, yeah. distinctive lines. You, you have lines, as you, I think you, you said, uh, looks complicated. Yeah? Yes. So you have lines that create complexity. On yes. This, whereas here the lines are very simple and yeah. very purposeful. And they, uh, they all hold together very well. Yeah. Okay, well, I really look forward to seeing it on the roads. We know with TNGA, yeah. that we've not disappointed in terms of the driving dynamic performance. Okay. So I, I think the, the driving experience will match the styling and the expectations. The Yaris ID is since ever big from the inside, but small from the outside. And this is actually our biggest, smallest Yaris ever. No, I hope so. I usually <laughs> don't too. use makeup that often, so I don't know. Let's see. 
The funny thing is, in every segment in the automotive industry, the cars with every generation are getting slightly bigger. Just slightly, but getting bigger and bigger. The new Yaris is, is actually staying true to its identity and is getting smaller. We reduced the length very slightly by five millimeters. The height is actually lowered by 40 millimeters. At the same time, we were able to increase the wheelbase by up to 50 millimeters, which gives the car a better stance on the road and at the same time, more space in the interior. Especially in city driving, this makes the car easy to drive in city, especially in parking and very tiny roads, very easy to manage uh, the drivability. The thing you will immediately notice is the front and rear wings and the sculpted door panels, which gives this car very strong character lines. You have very strong lines from the bonnet following the roof until the end of the car, and especially the wheel arches are a little bigger, which gives it also a very dynamic uh, drive and a dynamic look. The LED headlights are extended into the front wings to reduce the front overhang. The A-pillars are also pulled back which gives the Yaris a more sporty image. With its wider stance and its T-cross design in the grille, it gives the impression of a starter in the blocks. When you see the car, you have immediately the feeling it's ready to go. In the interior, we are using uh, very high quality materials. Everything you touch, the patterns, the illumination, but also the sounds are improved, where you immediately feel a kind of premium feeling in a, just a B-segment car. The dashboard has been lowered to increase the view on the street. Yeah, the Yaris is mainly focusing on the driver. In this case, we are following the concept of less is more. So we were trying to reducing the eye movement of the driver. We have a binocular system, which we are sure our drivers will appreciate, a multi-information system, as well as the head-up display, which is first and unique in segment, 10 inch and colored. Every information the driver needs while driving is already in the view of the driver. Because the best way you drive a car is you focus on the road. So hands on the wheel, eyes on the road. Thank you very much. Can I interview you? <laughs> uh, I, I like the fact that you have just gone towards a, a bubble form, yeah. but you've been able to give a detail. Yeah, let's see on the bottom of the, you know, the side the lines, the side lines, the, yeah. the, the very detail what you see from the side. Uh, which makes this, let's say, car and this form so special. It's almost disappearing for so many cars, the form's there, yeah. but they've actually brought it back. Indeed. They've, they've brought Indeed. back... Uh, Especially this, yeah. Yeah, same. this yeah. Yeah, the wheel arch has to be uh, bumped out a bit yeah. more, which gives it a way better form. Right? Yeah. Yes, so we have, from the very start, uh, it has been a cooperation between Broad. So actually we have uh, reduced the center of gravity uh, by about 12 millimeters. We have also... It's so much easier my job as here. <laughs> <laughs> when you have driven any of our uh, models on the TNGA uh, platform, on the C platform or the K platform, like the new uh, Corolla or the new uh, CHR, you will understand the step up which TNGA thinking brings uh, to the fourth generation Yaris. One of the uh, concepts which we have been following is confident and natural confidence in a way that we want the driver and the passenger to feel confident in any type of uh, driving circumstances and natural in a way that the vehicle will respond exactly as the driver uh, expects it to do. We have been set out to make our new Yaris responsive, agile, fun to drive, especially in urban driving conditions. Large contributor to improve the uh, engagement of the, the driver is to improve the driving position uh, in the vehicle. So we have reduced the seating position. We have moved it backwards with uh, 60 millimeters. And this combined with a more ergonomic uh, setup of the steering wheel and also an increased telescopic range gives a driving position which really makes you feel connected with the car when you're driving. We have fitted new front and rear uh, suspensions uh, on the car. We have been able to lower uh, the center of gravity, and which all contributes to achieving a much better performance uh, on the vehicle itself. Uh, we have improved the stability. Uh, we have been able to shorten the stopping distance. The center of gravity is lower, but also the weight balance between front and rear and left and right is positioned towards the center 
uh, of the car, uh, which contributes largely to reducing the stopping distances and the body roll. This combined also with a significant increase of body rigidity, which reduced the noise and vibration uh, levels in the cabin uh, when driving. Well, I'm sure that um, everybody who drives uh, our new Yaris or any of our models on the TNGA uh, platform will definitely feel the step up in dynamic performance of the car. Okay. Thanks, Luke. That was Thank great. you very much. Cheers. Nice talking to you. Thank you. Is, is that molded steel or is that a uh, stamped steel? Uh, it's actually, it's a. Uh, for the steel, we are using a lot of high tension steel. It's a property that you can go thinner. Yes. Uh, but it will keep a high, very high stiffness. Yes. So that will result in a high rigidity, high torsional stiffness, but also in a low weight. Okay. Also, we have used a lot of uh, CIE technology, so computer uh, engineering, yes. to optimize the shape um, of the, the platform itself. So you can you can see on the back, we have also made some cutouts to remove steel where there is no need. Yes. Uh, for of steel. course, exactly. With, with, uh, weight becomes uh, the absolute essential. Yes. yes. Toyota always needs a hybrid technology. Now we are making the hybrid even better. We already introduced 15 million cars globally. So Yaris is the first full hybrid D-segment vehicle in the world. Yaris customer already choose 60% of the hybrid. I believe this new hybrid technology will increase that number. We developed every component like a engine and trans axles, motor and power control unit and battery. We can achieve the 40% fuel thermal efficiency plus uh, cooling capability. We change the oil pump and uh, finally we can achieve the electric driving mode to the 130 kph. This battery can charge double. This means uh, you can regenerate the battery by braking. So let's say 27% lighter than current model. And uh, to look at the output, it's uh, increased to 50%. So you can drive very easy as a uh, electric drive mode and the uh, acceleration is very quick than current model. So this is a uh, very adapted to the Europe market. Of course, my European market need more deep brake and uh, deep decelerations. If you want to keep the electric mode, you have to carefully push the axle pedal. You can keep electric drive mode very easy. Vehicle have to follow the driver's intentions. That's our message, linearity. That's great. Everyone feels the heat under those lights. <laughs> 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 yeah, and also I'm so, I'm feeling now very nervous. So. Oh no no no! <laughs> you're doing you're doing a great job. I, maybe yeah. I, and, and uh, maybe I should I should speak more naturally. <laughs> yeah, so this battery has so a compactness awesome. and a very powerful and very efficient. If you look at the, this engine, so it's first time to adopt the three cylinder engine for the TLGA. You can feel the confident and natural drive very easy in Europe situations. Yes, so this is a three cylinder, fast three cylinder engine of the TNGA. And you've used a balance to uh, remove the vibrations? Yes, so thanks to the uh, balance mass, it reduces the vibration. Also, we utilize the motor. Motor also has to say the control to reduce the vibrations. In the electric driving mode, this mo only this motor activates. And if engine turn, this motor kicks in the engines and uh, this motor has to say reflect the engine torque to regenerate the power. Thanks to the new software, so we always optimize the motor responsibility. So how much we will use this motor and motor to achieve the good fuel consumption. Thank you. As an engineer, but as a father, as a husband, of course, you want to have a car that is safe for yourself, for your family, uh, for, for other road users, as much as possible. Hey, Tom. Hey. How are you? Morning, Richard. You okay? Yes, uh, okay. Ready? Yep. It's a very big challenge to make it as compact as possible and as safe as possible at the same time, but that is, I believe, exactly what we've, what we've done. Safety, I believe, is, is probably one of our biggest challenges because Toyota as a whole has a long-term vision of going for uh, zero fatalities on the road. So we're, we're constantly pushing the envelope of how far we can go in, in, in improving safety on the road. Since it, it became car of the year, the first generation Yaris, we've always designed the Yaris to be 
state of the art and to be best in class. We've reconfirmed that by the second generation Yaris, the first Yaris to achieve a five star rating on Euro NCAP and also the first compact car in the segment to have knee airbags. The third generation Yaris was the first in segment to offer a wide range of active safety systems as a standard and not as an option. For the fourth generation, again, we try to set the bar uh, a little bit higher or considerably higher. On one side, there's passive safety and there, of course, the, uh, the, the rigidity of the body will help to protect passengers and drivers uh, in case of an accident. Additionally, uh, the, the fourth generation Yaris will be the first one to have the central airbag. So this is uh, to protect uh, both passenger and driver in case of a side collision. But of course, in general, the systems that we aim for the most are the active safety systems, which are the ones which should avoid a collision in the first place. Which we will be able to show is, yeah. of course, the, the radar, which is behind yeah. this cover, okay. and the camera, which is there. One of the biggest changes is, of course, from, from a sensor point of view, we have moved from a laser scanner and a camera combination to a radar and camera combination. And this allows us to level up the performance of, of, of many active safety systems. Uh, the pre-collision system has been considerably expanded. It uh, now also includes uh, pedestrian and cyclist uh, recognition, both in daytime and in nighttime uh, scenario. Another system I think which has been considerably enhanced is the lane keeping assist. So we've moved from a warning system to a full steering assist system, which has been fully integrated to the adaptive cruise control. Uh, this means you will be able to go to uh, full stop and go traffic and you will get uh, acceleration and deceleration support and steering support even in traffic jam condition. We've also added an intersection assist. So when you are at an intersection and you take a left turn or a right turn and a pedestrian is crossing the street, uh, if in case you didn't notice him, the system will also prompt a warning and will prompt an um, active break to avoid collision with, uh, with a crossing pedestrian. Additionally, we've implemented uh, evasive steering support, which is a system that will support the driver during an evasive maneuver. The ICS system uh, basically supports you when you're manually parking the car. Uh, if the, the ultrasonic sensors in the back of the car detect an object that you are about to hit, it will uh, initiate an automatic braking to avoid that you make a very uh, simple but very annoying scratch on your car, which will cost you a lot to repair. Uh, from a competitor point of view, I think this is the most complete uh, active safety package, which again, same as last generation, is offered as a standard package. We've always tried to keep a good balance between uh, making the systems, the active safety systems uh, as safe as possible, increase the safety as much as possible, but not be too intrusive to, to reduce the driving pleasure. So have you been testing the, the Yaris out yep. on the road? Where have you been driving it? Um, we, we have a couple of standard test courses that we do because of course we need to check all countries uh, conditions. So we do Belgium, Netherlands, Germany, Austria, Italy, France, uh, Spain and UK. There are some systems like adaptive cruise control, uh, pre-crash systems. You can fully tune it in a kind of laboratory environment. But systems like road sign assist, systems like lane trace assist, you need to be on the road with the exact environment. Exactly. Um, it's very simple things, but the lane markings are different in every country because even if there is regulation, sometimes they're not followed or the maintenance is not good. And the customer doesn't care if you say, yeah, but that one is out of regulation. So <laughs> they just want the system to work basically. So another simple thing is, for example, uh, road banking. So all the roads are slightly slanted oh, to yeah. make sure that the rain yeah. uh, it doesn't stay on the road. But for lane trace assist system, the camera doesn't recognize the angle of the road. So it's constantly being pulled out of balance. Okay. And you need to be able to deal with that. And that's a very sensitive tuning challenge. You're behind the wheel as well I'm as behind, behind the, the computer. Yeah, okay. exactly. <laughs> Welcome. I'm Yasunori Suezawa, the chief engineer for the New Yaris. I experienced the roads of Europe quite a lot. The New Yaris, especially for Europe. That's why it was so important for us to meet European drivers to capture their high appreciation of quality and who test the New Yaris on European road. European drivers have a big, small character of the Yaris. We wanted to keep that and to emphasize it even more. Now, with lower, wider proportions, it has a stance of an athlete on the starting box. It really is ready to go.